JD, I think we just came up against a very informed London Irish side this afternoon. No, we did, yeah, and uh, you know we've, we've followed the London Irish throughout the season. Clearly, the the leading team in this division, and uh, you know, you know, their defence was probably the area today that um, um, that, that gave them the, such a, a good platform to launch such a such a potent attack. Yeah, I think as a coach, it'll be difficult to say, but sometimes you know you come up against a better team, and that was perhaps on show this afternoon. That's right, yeah, and you've got to be honest with these things. Uh, you, know, you can learn you know, of these occasions. We've got a lot of young players that aspire to play at that level, and a lot of them, you know, thought Ali Miller again put his hand up there. You've got Rory Bartle, you know, two or three, you know, David Cherry again, just another outstanding performer out there. And uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, really did themselves some really good justice. I know the scoreline isn't, you know, what we wanted or what individually, but we met a very good Irish team, and uh, you know, a lot of good stuff and positive from us. Um, certainly, when you're chasing a game as well, you're a bit more vulnerable against a team like that to concede more as well. And you know, we had our chances. In that first 20, 30 minutes, which could have gave the game a different, you know, complex, um, you know, but not to take the opportunity that we had in hand. You're then chasing the game, and when we're chasing the game against London Irish with a defence as physical as that, then the four shredders and uh, you know they, they got scores. So again, we we move on into into next week. Yeah, look at the positives. Um, stuck to the game plan, really stayed in, and at the end we got a, a deserved try. We did, yeah, and that shows a bit of the, the kind of spirit in the team. There, we keep fighting all the way through. It. I thought, you know, coming up at half time, the scoreboard actually, you know, you, the, the, the changing room's in a funny place because the, the game is almost away from you there. You've got to look at what your objectives are in that second half, and uh, it was just to remain positive. And they did that right to the last minute, and uh, I think that was the most pleasing thing. It's you know, 77 minutes to get a score after persistence uh, was very, very good. Um, yeah, let's look at some of the, well, not perhaps regrets, but in the first half when it was a bit tighter, we did have a few chances and they slipped and then all of a sudden Irish just pulled away. We did, yeah. I mean, in the first 20, 30 minutes, you know, we're disappointed to concede so early, you know, a couple of, you know, just, you know, we've missed out on a 50-50 ball, then we get pulled into a scrum, a penalty end up in the corner and you're seven points down. So, you know, as, as we knew they would, the boys kind of picked themselves up. We, just, we stayed focused and... Uh, you know, we get about 14-5 with another two opportunities there. It really bring the game in, and um, you know what happens is it ends up with a 14-point turnaround, and then from there you're chasing a little bit. And you know to concede just before half time as well was was disappointing. And then as I say, the complexity of the game when you look at the scoreline being that we, we've got to go out and chase it, and when you start chasing it, that's that's when you become more vulnerable. But you know a lot of good lessons learned today. Um, we dust ourselves off. We've still been on a good run recently. Uh, Doncaster away next Saturday. That'll be a massive test. That's huge, yeah, and it's always a focus. We've got to look at the teams in the league that we are um, competing around. London Irish, our team, come out of the Premiership last year that are, you know, in wage bill and individual wise, in terms of experience, operating at a little bit different level. We've got to look at Doncaster, another huge challenge, a team that were in that playoff uh, final last year. So. Yeah, we've had a look at them, we started our work there and again, yeah, we'll move very quickly tonight and the uh, boys will be back in tomorrow for recovery and we'll move on to Doncaster. It's going to make that game more and more important. Uh, five of the last seven games um, that, that we've won and we're on, a, we're on a good move and we can't just let this uh, put our heads down. We've got to remain focused and, and look to kick on and we know this, this group they will. Yeah. Um, just finally, despite the result, uh, the sky cameras down, a big crowd. It was a good day for the club all round. It was, yeah, and it was a good outfit uh, for the whole championship. I thought, you know, a real good buzz about the ground. Uh, it's a pity we can't get gates at this uh, more often, um, certainly with the, the local derbies, etc. You know, what a great occasion. Um, sky being here as well, yeah, you don't like to, to con concede or be beat by 50 points, but, um, you know, what a great you know, advert for the, the, the championship. London Irish, I thought, approached the game with a, you know, the, the right mindset. They came here, they were on show as well, you know, as, as, as us and uh, as a team that you know, a lot of eyes are on. And I thought they came here and they were absolutely clinical from day one. And, uh, you know, we, we'll learn some big lessons and we'll, we'll improve. Good luck today.